Brown from Canis Chiropractic, your Baltimore area chiropractor. Today I'm going to teach you how to relieve the symptoms of foot pain, pain along the arch, plantar fasciitis, and how you can do this at home on your own before you seek some sort of doctor's treatment. So what is plantar fasciitis? Plantar fasciitis is pain that develops along the arch of the foot and into the heel. Anna, let's show my foot. Okay, this is what happens. You got your heel, you got the front part of your foot. There's tissue that connects from the back of the heel over to this front part of the foot. This is called your plantar fascia. It's a layer of white connective tissue that holds the muscles in the foot into the place. What happens, people get inflammation in between these layers, which causes a lot of pain. Pain develops into this part of the heel. This is where a lot of the symptoms begin because this is where it's attaching and it can develop along the arch. So, why do you get plantar fasciitis? When do we see it? In our office, we see it a lot during the summer. Why? Because people are wearing shoes that don't give them good support. You're walking on the beach without shoes. That's a problem. Your foot's flexing, going into weird positions. Sandals don't give you good support. Overstrain of the foot, running. We see a lot of runners, people that put a lot of repetitive stress on the tissues. These types of things can cause plantar fasciitis. Let's say you don't have a good um, uh, uh, support in your foot, your foot, just you overpronate, you have flat feet. That is another thing that can trigger plantar fasciitis. Now, the problem with plantar fasciitis is that these problems start in the foot. However, through your kinetic chain, which goes from your foot to your ankle to your knee up to your hip, it can create all kinds of other problems. So we see people that have plantar fasciitis then develop knee pain and develop uh, hip pain and develop back pain. So plantar fasciitis can become a very big problem if you don't get it under control. And if you don't get it under control in a reasonable amount of time, it can take well up to a year or a year and a half to heal on its own. So this is some really good tips on what you can do to help this. Number one is when people have plantar fasciitis, they have a tremendous amount of pain when they first get out of bed in the morning. That is because the foot is flexed a little bit and when you get up when something's inflamed and you first step down to put pressure on them, you're stretching that tissue and it's very painful for the first 10 minutes until you start working around. So a great thing to do is before you get out of bed if you're suffering from plantar fasciitis a great stretch is this. Take your finger, your, your hand, grab your toes, pull them up to your head. And what that does, that stretches this. And you can feel, I can feel how tight this tissue goes. Let it go. Do it again. Let it go forward. Whatever. Stretch these toes out to get that stretch along the bottom of this heel. And do that. Do this 10 times. Hold it there 10, 20, 30 seconds. You're not going to over stretch it. The other thing that you can do is you can go in this direction too. It doesn't hurt to stretch both ways. So you can go down and then you can go back and it feels good. And I've had plantar fasciitis in the past and it does take a lot of time to heal without the proper treatment. So stretch it out before you go out of bed. Now, if you want to avoid some of that pain during your first steps, have some shoes next to the bed. Slip them into some shoes to give you some support because not being in shoes will definitely irritate this. So that's number one. You can stretch it out. Number two, this is how, okay, this plantar fasciitis, tissue here goes into the back of the heel from your calf muscle. This calf muscle we need to stretch out. Muscles here go all the way down. So how do we stretch this out? You do what's called a runner stretch. Go like this, put your bad foot down, the heel all the way down to the ground. If you push your heel down, you will feel a stretch that runs from the back of the calf all the way down to the bottom of the foot. So heel flat, nice tall spine so you don't hurt your back, and push that heel down to the ground. And you will feel a stretch along the back of your leg, back of your calf muscle, into the bottom of that heel. That's number one. Do that three times, ten seconds. The next stretch, do it with your knee bent. Same thing, but my knee is bent and I'm pushing my foot, my heel, back into the ground. And now what I feel is more of a stretch 
into the foot. So two stretches, he, leg straight, push your heel down, leg bent, push your heel down. And you will feel a stretch throughout the back of the leg and the calf muscle. Now, what else you can do on your own is this. I'm just gonna use this. You can use your finger, but the best thing is something hard. Um, you know, if you can't find anything at home, you can take a little rolling pin. You could take a wrench and just hold both ends of the wrench. This looks, you know, similar to what a wrench would look like in the center. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your foot, you're gonna there, this over the tissue. Now, what you'll do is you'll take this off, you'll put a lot of, here, we'll put some lube on here and you'll grease it up really good because you don't want to bruise yourself up too bad. And what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll run it all along this. And you go back and forth. And kind of hard, you want to break some of this up. And you'll feel crunchy things as you do this. And this is areas of inflammation, areas of scar tissue that built up, and you'll work the back of this heel. Because remember, that's where it's attaching. From the back of the heel, all the way up to the forefoot back of the heel and do this for a few minutes to try to break this up that's a really good thing and you can do this every day and do it for a couple weeks and see if that helps to give you relief another good thing is this so you have in pain you're sitting at work take your water bottle or take a frozen water bottle is even better frozen water bottle lay it down on the ground take your foot roll it over the bottle and you will feel that and roll it hard so you can feel things break up. This isn't frozen so it's squashing but a frozen water bottle is great because you're getting the cold which will reduce some of the inflammation and then you're getting the pressure which will help to break some of this tissue up. We want to get mobility into this foot. Um, that's a good thing. Rolling pin, same thing. You have something at home, do like this. Feels real good to help try to break this up and just work this tissue and put some ice on it. So these are just some simple, simple things that you can do which can help in a pinch. And if you do this consistently for a couple weeks, you should get significant relief. If you don't, that means this plantar fasciitis is a little too out of control and you might need to seek some sort of other type of care. Now in our office, I have many other videos on how we treat this. We treat this with ultrasound. We do a lot of dry needling to the feet, which is unbelievable, great results. Look at some of my videos that show you how we uh, treat plantar fasciitis. You'll see the people on there and they're doing very, very well. But it's always good to try some of these things at home to see if that'll work. So you don't have to uh, spend your money and um, you don't have to uh, take your time going to the doctor's office. So I hope these hints were tips were um, helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, pain is not a lifestyle, and we will see you next time for another video. Thanks.